Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about a very important field of mathematics that is statistics. So whenever you um, when, um, whenever you get into this field, you must know the meaning, the definition, the understanding of this field, or the uh, or you should know what is statistics in general. Statistics is basically a branch of mathematics that deals with making the uh, in, uh, making informed decisions, effective decisions by using step by step methods. So we, I will uh, discuss in detail today what is statistics, what are the five major steps of statistics if by using which you can make the decisions, you, you can make the inferences or uh, you can interpret the data that is being collected. Uh, so it will help you out in making the decisions. Today the way I am going to tell you it's very easy so that you can remember it throughout your life. So don't skip it, watch till end. It will be very useful for you conducting your future researches. So let's start today. What is statistics? So if you get the understanding of these C, O, P, A and I, it will be very easier for you or you can easily conduct research once you came to know about these five major steps of statistics. So C is for collecting, O is for organizing, P is for presenting, A is for analyzing and I is for interpreting. So I think it will become easier for you now to understand about the major steps of statistics. So in your every field, in approximately every field, statistics is virtually present. Statistics basically allow you to conduct research, evaluate outcomes, develop critical thinking and make informed decisions. It is used in approximately every field. It can be used in manufacturing, in marketing, in engineering, in epidemiology, in health, in pharma fields and in genetics or so on. So wherever you are required to make the decisions based on the given data or if you want to make the decision or regarding a population by getting a sample, you can use the you, you can use all these steps. So these steps will be discussed in detail in our next few le lectures. But today I am going to give you a short intro of all these when you will came to know about the statistics. So in the field of statistics, your first step is collecting. Now what is meant by collect? So collecting is basically a word used for collecting the data. You have to collect the data in order to make the decision. So decision is basically an information that you get from the data. So uh, we have read multiple times about the difference between data and information. So here comes the concept where you are given with the data, you are collecting the data, you are collecting the data from the uh, uh, from the population, from the sample, uh, from different people, using questionnaires, surveys, interviews, observations, forms, social media. These are the different means by which you can collect the data for making the decision that you want to do. So these are the few methods that, that I have mentioned here that we are going to discuss in detail in our next lectures that whenever you want to make the decision you need data, a raw data. That is a data that you get from the people directly. So this is the first step of statistics. Th that is a science of collecting. You came across the definition like a science of collecting data. So we, when there is a data, it has no meaning. It means at the stage of C, you have a raw data and it has no meaning. You can't make any decision here. So after collecting, we have the next stage that is organizing. So once you get the data, you have to organize it in a meaningful manner, in, a, in an ordered manner so that you can easily read it, understand it, interpret it, analyze it. So you have whenever you get something, you must have to present it or you have to keep it in an organized way, in an ordered manner. For example, here it is given a score of uh, of a test of uh, um, different students and uh, that is 7, 8, 3, 5, 6, 2, 4, 5 out of 10. So this is a, these are the numbers. Now these are just arranged in an uh, irregular manner or you can say these, these, these are not arranged in an ordered or in ascending or descending manner. So you have to arrange them properly in order to analyze the data that how many of the students have got 5, how many of the students have got 3 and so on. 
So, you have to uh, uh, organize the data in order to make it meaningful either in tabular form, either in graphical form or you can say when uh, and in terms of research, you can organize the data in an, in an Excel sheet. You can uh, uh, organize by properly putting the labels to the columns and uh, properly arranging them in different sheets. So, this is called uh, organization of the data. After organizing, we have the third stage of statistics that is presenting. Although sometimes we consider the stage of organizing and presenting the data similar uh, because sometimes we uh, directly mm, consider the graphs and we do not go uh, towards the textual or tabular form. But it's mostly the case that first you get a tabular form and then you get the graphs after that so that you can present the data in a uh, graphical manner so that you can make the comparison visually easily for your uh, for making the decisions that you are that are required so in presenting you basically refers to the graphics to the different graphs bar charts histograms plots so that you can make the comparison between the different variables uh, between the data of the different variables so this is the third stage of the statistics then we move towards the most important state of stage of statistics that is analyzing. So, in the fourth stage of statistics that is the most important sta stage we have to conduct the analysis. Analysis of what? Of the data that has been gathered, organized and has been presented in a tabular form. Now, you have to analyze the data. Now, it depends what kind of analysis you are going to do. Sometimes uh, we have to analyze the given data and we have to uh, make the decision of just the given data and we are not making any um, inferences of, um, of the um, individuals that are other than that, that, that were not uh, included in that um, study. Uh, that, or you can say that we, we are not con considering the sample and making the decision regarding the population. But sometimes we consider the sample and on the basis of that we make the decision regarding the population. So, in analyzing we use the mean, median, these are uh, basically the measures of central tendency. I have discussed in detail the mean, median, mod uh, uh, in my previous lectures. I, can, I will give the link above as well. So, mean, median, mod, standard deviation, variance, these are basically used when you have to make the decision of the given data only. But or you can or you have to summarize um, the set of data um, uh, that has been collected and, um, and there is no uncertainty or inference in the um, uh, decision. But when it comes to making the inferences or when you are going to test a hypothesis, you have to use the different um, uh, methods. Uh, of hypothesis testing that is like you will uh, sh um, came across t-test, ANOVA, chi-square uh, or regression analysis. Uh, these are the different methods you basically use at the stage of analysis uh, of your research data or you, of, of your uh, of, the, of the data that you have gathered. Uh, so, this is very important stage. So, you have you have to make the decisions accordingly that what kind of test you have to apply. We will discuss in detail in our next few lectures. Keep watching. I am going to give you very important lectures on, on the research that how you can conduct a research either you are in bachelor's or in master's or in uh, PhD or in postdoctoral study or at whatever level you are going to conduct the statistical analysis. So, after anal analyzing you have to move towards the last step that is interpreting. Now, what is meant by interpreting? So, in the last stage of uh, statistics, you have to interpret the, uh, the results, you have to make the conclusions, you have to make the recommendations based on your conclusions, you have to uh, check whether your hypothesis is rejected or uh, accepted or, um, or, or the difference or if you are given with different uh, um, um, comparisons um, about, uh, about smaller, bigger or whatever. So, you have to interpret on the basis of the analysis that you have done in the fourth stage. So, interpreting the results is the last stage of the statistics. So, statistics is all about these five stages that you have to conduct in your every research in order to make the meaningful or decisions or that you can say informed decision. So, in the first stage you are given with the raw data and in the last stage you extracted an information from that data. This is all about statistics that you are getting 
a useful information from the raw data this is all the statistics so if for example i can give you the examples as uh, like which fruit fifth graders prefer to eat for lunch for that they have to collect the data from the uh, fifth graders through using questionnaire through survey whatever the method you are going to use then you have to organize that data in a tabular form in an excel sheet then you have to present it in the um, graphical format so that you can uh, compare uh, that which fruit is uh, basically the mo uh, most liked by the children uh, of the fifth grade then in the analysis uh, section you have to make the comparison of their responses um, it depends you are going to calculate the mean or or whatever analysis you are going to do so you have to make the interpretation that which fruit is it apple is it mango it's banana it depends so this is how you conduct your analysis on different situations uh, using the statistics so this is all about today's lecture hope so that this lecture will help you help you about uh, understanding the statistics um, uh, that is basically a uh, field that uh, uh, which is used in almost every other field um, in which research is going to be so that's all from today's lecture stay tuned for the next lecture i'm going to give you a lot of information regarding statistics thank you